Hello folks, in this video we're going to get our slime trackers ready from the box. Let's start by unpacking them. This is an 8 tracker set which will cover the chest, hip, thighs, ankles and either the feet or arms depending on your preference. There's also a spare case in the event that a tracker gets broken. There's a 5 meter roll of elastic for making straps with and a pack of 3D printed strap buckles with spares. Lastly, a charge cable. Each tracker has a charge port, a power switch and a firmware port. In the event of a breakage, tracker assembly is extremely simple. Inside is a circuit board, a separator and a battery. To make straps, measure out a length of elastic around your body without stretching it. This is usually about the right length plus a little extra once adjusted. It's better to be too long than too short. The 5 meter roll should have enough for 8 trackers and excess. Once you've cut off a length, thread it through the tracker strap loops. Take one of the buckles and then thread it through the inside slit and then back through the outside slit. Repeat for all trackers. If you want to, you can use a lighter, soldering iron or some other heat source to singe the ends of the straps to prevent them from fraying. This elastic is inexpensive and available from Amazon or any craft shop, so don't worry if you need more. Here's how the tracker should be positioned on your body. I normally wear loose clothing that will fit over the top of the trackers or a thermal base layer that the trackers can sit on top of without shifting. But no one here wants to see me in leggings. Now let's get Slime VR set up. Download and run the web installer from slimevr.dev forward slash download. Once you're at the setup wizard, click let's get set up. Type in your Wi-Fi network name and password and then click submit. Now Slime VR is looking for trackers connected by USB. Take a tracker, turn it on, and connect a micro USB cable to the firmware port. Slime VR will send the Wi-Fi details to the tracker and the tracker will join the network. If the tracker doesn't appear, try unplugging it, then turning it off and on again. If that still doesn't do it, plug the USB cable back in and Slime VR will send it the Wi-Fi details again. Once it appears as connected, unplug the tracker. Keep it switched on as we'll need all of them connected for the rest of the setup. Plug in your next tracker and repeat the process. Once again, SlimeVR will send the details and wait for it to connect. Now rinse and repeat for all your other trackers until your list is complete. Now let's set up SlimeVR. I recommend putting on your VR headset for this and bringing up your desktop view from the Steam VR overlay as we'll need to stand in certain poses at the right times. Select I connected all my trackers to continue. We can also click through the next step as we've already made up our straps. Now we're going to assign the trackers. Start by clicking the chest position. During recording my left hand controller seemed to be acting up so please ignore all the weird duplicates here. The unassigned trackers in the top half of the screen are what we're focusing on. Wiggle the tracker on your chest so that it highlights in Slime VR, and then select that tracker. Slime VR can also detect a double tap as well, as I do here. Next, select the hip and wiggle your hip tracker. Select the one that highlights. Now repeat for thighs, ankles and either your feet or upper arms depending on where you've put your trackers. VRChat is fairly good at estimating arm positions from your controllers, so I personally find feet more useful for more natural looking lower leg movement. Once your trackers are assigned, select I'm ready and then auto mount. In this section, Slime VR will detect what angle your trackers are mounted at. Select I have all my trackers on now select Full Reset and look straight ahead with your arms at your sides. Now select Reset Mounting and assume the Ski Pose. 
Lean forward into this. It's important that all trackers tilt enough that SlimeVR can see how they moved. If you're overbalanced, just try again. Tracker drift is an inevitable part of IMU trackers like Slimes, but the tap resets make it very easy to manage. A Yaw reset will reset all trackers to point in the direction of your headset. This is good for correcting drift while you're sitting or laying down. This reset is instant. A full reset will correct all axes of rotation. When doing this reset, you'll have three seconds to stand straight and look ahead before the reset takes effect. A mount reset allows you to perform the ski pose again. This is good for when your trackers have significantly shifted on your body, especially when clothing moves as you sit and stand. You can do all of these resets by either tapping certain trackers or you can just open your SteamVR overlay and select the resets in SlimeVR. Lastly, we need to set body proportions. Fine-tuning your proportions is a never-ending quest to get immaculate one-to-one -one tracking, but auto proportions will do a pretty good baseline for you. Click through a full reset, the requirements message, and then select I'm standing to auto set your height. Check that those measurements make sense and then select they're fine. The robot animation will show what's known as the auto bone dance. You'll need to perform these movements so Slime VR can estimate your body size. This doesn't need to be exact, so don't worry about copying the dance perfectly. Select Start Recording when you're ready. Slime VR will record your movements for 30 seconds, which is plenty of time. Just repeat the dance over and over until the timer runs out to feed in as much data as possible. Once you're done, take a look at the results and then select They're Correct. We've now finished the one-time setup. You can go through any of these steps again at any time if you need to. In Steam VR, if you look down, you should now see the virtual Vive trackers. Check that they're moving in the correct directions by bending your legs and moving your hips. If something looks wonky, try doing another mounting calibration. If everything's good, you can start up VR chat. Head on over to the mirror. If this is your first time, here's some settings that I recommend for VR chat. We only need to set these once. After that, you can skip this step. Open up the big menu, go to settings, and then tracking and IK. Click the auto height setting to set your real height. Depending on the proportions of your avatar, you might want to fine tune this later if your avatar's legs are always bent or your feet are floating, but auto height is a good baseline. Make sure disable shoulder tracking is on, as this causes odd behavior when using arm trackers. FTB locomotion animation means your avatar will do its running animation when you move with the left stick. I prefer to have this on when I'm standing and off when I'm sitting. Display calibration visuals should be on. This will bring up a mirror when you calibrate so you can see if something is wrong. Calibration range should be adjusted down to about 0.25. This helps prevent VR chat from accidentally crossing trackers over, especially on smaller avatars. You might need this at a higher value if you're using a big or tall avatar. I also set FTB tracker model to axis. This makes them easier to see when calibrating as they stick out of the body. With those settings done, we just need to do a Calibrate FBT. Do a full reset in Slime VR by opening the Steam VR overlay or triple tapping your left thigh. Stand straight, look ahead, and don't move your feet. Then, once again, without having moved your feet, open the hand menu and select Calibrate FBT. Now T-pose to match the calibration visuals. The green circles represent the avatar, and the axes represent your trackers. Make sure none of them are crossing over. Then pull both controller triggers at the same time to lock in the calibration. The one tip that I will continue to repeat is to make sure that you don't move your feet between doing a full reset in Slime VR and a Calibrate FBT in VRChat.
This is critical to making sure that VRChat's calibration is fully aligned with SlimeVR's calibration. Most people have problems because they did a full reset in SlimeVR, then they moved, and then they did the T-pose. This will never give the same result because you'll never get your feet in exactly the same spot again. And now you're fully tracked. Do a few movements to check everything works and enjoy.